Hug of grace and peace to you this morning. Um, everyone, grace and peace multiply to you in Jesus' name. Um, join, waiting for the first person to join this line, and it's Afe Lucky, and then there's Fatih, and who else is here this morning? And there's Obi, and there's Folake, and there is um, Tommy Bella. Okay. Go on WhatsApp message. I need to check it. Messy and this everyone joining. Great, 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 great. Yes, they were praying and had light and power issues. But we really prophesied the month. It's a month of great favor. It's a month of great favor. It's the month of great favor. Great favor. Great favor. Great favor. Great favor. Great favor. You will see favor on every side this month that will shock you in the name of Jesus. You are a recipient of the favor of God. God is madly in love with you. You will see favor that will blow your mind this year, this season, in the name of Jesus. You would experience favor on every side in the name of Jesus. This year, you will see favor that will blow your mind. This month, this month, you will see favor. You would experience favor on every side in the name of Jesus. You will see the favor of God. I pray for you and your family, wherever you are. You would experience the favor of God. You are kept, you are preserved by God. You would see favor on every side in the name of Jesus. Endless favor, great favor. I prophesy upon the month of August, like we're praying yesterday, you see favor like a cloud. Favor like a cloud. That means when you come into a place, you command the very favor of God. Favor like a cloud in the name of Jesus pursues you, goes before you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy great favor that you command the cloud of God's favor, that every room you come into, everywhere you enter, you will see favor that will blow your mind in the name of Jesus. You would experience favor that will blow your mind in the name of Jesus. This morning, again, we release the favor, irresistible favor of God irresistible favor of God is what you will see this season in the name of the irresistible favor of God. The irresistible favor of God is what you will see this period in the name of Jesus. You will see favor that will blow your mind. You will see favor. I command now in the name of Jesus upon your life. Great favor, great favor, great favor that will blow your mind in the name of Jesus. The mighty favor of God. The mighty favor of God. The whole of the month of August. Wow. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. As I prayed, I saw a, a tree being shaken. And the fruits are falling. And God wants me to tell some of you business people. Get ready. There's about to be a release. But you have to put systems in place to catch the harvest that is coming. Get ready. There's about to be a release. But you have to put systems in place that will catch the harvest. That's what I see in the spirit. I see a tree being shaken. And God is saying, and I see fruit falling. But God is saying, get ready protect your trees for the harvest is here get ready put systems in place so that when the harvest comes is not good you're not going to lose harvest that's what i hear in my spirit I, I see the pictures in my spirit i just saw it a tree shaking and the the, the fruits are falling that's what i say in this way the tree shaking and fruits are falling and um it's 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 a robust harvest but the harvest is not a problem but you have systems in place says the spirit of the lord i see it in this way a tree being shaken and the the lord is saying it's time for me to shake the trees for the fruits are about to fall but do you have systems to gather do you have systems to gather i pray a massive harvest is released to you and yours now in the name of Jesus. A massive harvest, a massive harvest is released to you and yours in the name of Jesus. A ma massive harvest, a massive harvest is released to you and yours in the name of Jesus. Massive harvest, massive harvest is released in the name of Jesus. Come into your season of harvest. 
But harvest means God wants you to prepare systems that will take what he's about to send your way. Systems that will take what he is about to send your way. In the name of Jesus, in the name of... Thank you, Holy Ghost, for that word. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for that word. Some of you, the Lord is saying you may need to open small companies. You may, to, you may need to open companies by the side. System to take the harvest. Systems to take the harvest. In the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare upon everyone watching me today, businessmen and women, people who work in enterprise, people who work even in, in banking and finance, people who work in hospitality, whatever it is that you do, I pray in the name of Jesus that in this season, as you do the shaking, that the, the systems in the name of Jesus will be in place to take in the name of Jesus everything that Abba has prepared for us in Jesus much less name and everybody said amen amen and amen pray in the spirit decree i take my harvest i take my harvest i take my harvest in the name of jesus devil you have lost i take my harvest the month of the harvest is here the month of the harvest is here the month of the harvest is here let god be true and let every man be a liar in the name of Jesus, the month of the harvest is here. The month of the harvest is here, is here, and is right now in the name of Jesus. You come into the harvest. You come into the harvest. You come into harvest season. This is your harvest season. In the name of Jesus, get ready to rejoice. Get ready to dance. August, you will not mourn. Get ready to rejoice. Get ready to dance. August, you will not mourn. You will not mourn. You will not mourn in August. In the name of Jesus, get ready to rejoice. Get ready to dance. August, you will not mourn. The voice of rejoicing alone will be in your house. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Month, August, the month of favor with great harvest. The month of favor with great harvest. In Jesus' name. Let's make our declaration. We're reading for, uh, from Acts chapter 22. Acts chapter 22 um, from verse 1 to, to the end. Let's make our declaration 1 and then we go to Acts 20, 28. Acts 28, I believe. Guys, is it Acts 28? Guys, I believe we had Acts chapter two, chapter 28. Somebody remind me. Acts chapter number 28. I believe so. That we're in Acts 28. Then we read from verse 1 to the end. Let's make our declaration this morning. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me glory to god let's go to acts chapter number 28 acts chapter number 28 please confirm that we're reading acts 28 um i believe that's where we are this morning acts chapter number 28 glory to god i'm excited august is your month of favor with great harvest august is your month of favor with great harvest august is your month of favor with great harvest with great harvest. August is your month of favor with great harvest. In Jesus' name. Acts chapter number 28. I begin reading from verse 1. Acts chapter number 28 from verse 1. Amen. Let me know if you have, if you're ready for us to read. Let me know if you're ready for us to read. Are you ready? Are we ready to do this? Are we ready for this? Acts 28 from verse 1 to 31. Be freed. We won't. We don't want network issues this morning. In Jesus' name, we won't have. Yes, please. Acts twenty-eight. Beautiful. From verse one to thirty-one. Why is your thirty, Ruthie? Is one to thirty-one. One to thirty-one. Let me know if you're ready, so we can go. Acts chapter number twenty-eight, from verse one to thirty-one. 
the study in Bible this morning, Acts chapter number 38, 28 verse 1 to 31. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God. Ready, ready, ready. Ekman Young, all is ready. Ekman Young, all is ready. Glory to God. Now, when they had escaped, now when they had escaped, okay, I was waiting to pin this down. Thank you. Thank you, Jane, for, for that. Now, when they had escaped, they found out that the island was called Malta. Malta is the island. And the natives showed us unusual kindness. That's favor. Unusual kindness. Unusual kindness. Unusual kindness. And I pray that as you navigate the month of August to the remaining part of the year, you would see unusual kindness. You will see the kindness of God, the favors, the graces, and the mercies of God. I decree it upon your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree it upon your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree it upon your life and your family members in the name of Jesus. They showed us unusual kindness. Decree and declare, say this after me, in the name of Jesus, throughout the month of August and the remaining part of the year, I'm a recipient of the unusual kindness of God. So men are compelled to favor me. Men are compelled to come to me. Men are compelled to help me. I receive unusual kindness in the name of Jesus. Verse, verse, verse 2. And they kindled the fire. You know, they just escaped a shipwreck. They just escaped a shipwreck. And um, uh, they kindled the fire and made us all welcome. So they escaped a shipwreck and there was a fire. And they made us all welcome because the rain that was falling, because, because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. So how did they give them unusual kindness? They made fire for them. Fire for them. Fire. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks, you see, they, they, they made fire, but Paul was a make it happen guy. Paul was not just enjoying the fire. Paul was bringing the sticks to the fire. Ask yourself, am I a make it happen person or I just want to enjoy the fire? They needed warmth. But as much as they needed warmth, they did not just wait to enjoy warmth. Guess what they did? Paul himself brought the wood. Some of you just want to be warm. You are not doing anything to, to, to keep the fire going. So Paul went to gather sticks. So I'm sure there were people there who were just, oh, thank God. Oh, wow. wow. But Paul moved beyond being a recipient. He was just activating and serving the people. Paul added value. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire. So Paul saw the fire and Paul did not want the fire to go out. What are you doing to keep the fire burning in your church? What are you doing to keep the fire burning in your marriage? What are you doing to keep the fire burning at work? What are you doing to keep the fire burning in your relationships? Or are you the one who just wants to receive but doesn't want to come with wood to the table? You don't want to bring value. You don't want to add stuff. You just want to receive. Do for me, do for me, do for me. Bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. But you're giving nothing. And Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire. A viper came out because of the heat. Heat reveals a lot of stuff. Heat reveals a lot of stuff. And fasting on his hands. Because of the fire, the viper came out. I prophesy this morning, every viper, every snake, Every friend me around you, because of the heat of the fire of God's love and the revelation of Christ, we decree that they are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. I said I decree they are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. I decree they are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. I said I decree they are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. Fire. 
and fasted his hands and fasting on his hands. And when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting him to swell up and die. So they didn't fall down and die. But after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come on him, they changed their minds and said he was a god. So the viper came on him and they said, oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. The people who are waiting for you to die, they're going to wait for a long time. And having wait, waited for a long time, they will testify concerning you that, hey, he's a god. It's amazing how the viper came on Paul. Paul didn't pray. He just shook it back into the fire. Because if fire reveals the viper, there's enough fire in me to destroy the viper. Oh God, you missed it. If the fire revealed the viper, there's enough fire in me to destroy the viper. He didn't pray, he didn't shout. He just shook it up into, shook it back into the fire. If fire re revealed the viper, there's enough fire in my spirit to destroy the viper. He just... And the Bible says they waited for Paul to die. They will wait for a very long time. And their testimony would be, you are a God. For they said he was a God. He was a God. Somebody needs to shake some things off. You need to shake some things off. You need to shake some things off. This not, not no long prayer. Just shake it off. Shake depression off. Shake lust off. Shake anxiety off. Oh, they're attacking me. They're about to sack me. Sh shake it off. Oh, this person doesn't like me. Shake it off. Oh, this person doesn't see me. Shake it off. Shake it off. That's what you need to do. Stop paying attention to the viper. Just shake it off. Some of you are concentrating on the viper, looking at the... Just shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. It was not a small snake. It was a viper, a venomous snake. Shake it off. Stop paying attention to what the devil is doing. Just shake it off and keep moving. He shook it off into the fire. They were expecting Paul to die. They waited for a long time and then they decreed that this man is a God. That would be your testimony in the name of Jesus. It will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. It will be your testimony in the name. Shake it off. If the fire revealed the viper, there's enough fire in your spirit to destroy the viper. Shake it off back into the fire that revealed the, fire, the viper. Glory. Glory. And in that region, there was an estate of the leading citizens of the island whose name was Publius, who received us and entertained us cautiously for three days. And it happened after it happened that the father of Publius lay sick for of a fever and die century. Paul went in to him and prayed and laid his hands on him and healed him. So when this was done, the rest of those in the land who had disease also came and were healed. They also honored us in many ways. When we departed, they provided such things as were necessary, such things as were necessary. Because of the grace of God and the miracles God would do through you, men will bring everything that is necessary for God's assignment for your life, I decree. In the name of Jesus, because of the miracles that God will do through you and your life, men will bring such things as necessary to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of... They expected Paul to die, but Paul kept showing them the love of God in Christ, praying, laying hands on all of them. And the Bible says they brought such things as were necessary. After three months, we sailed in, and Alexandra's ship, whose um, figurehead was in the twin brothers which had wintered at the island and landing at Cy Syracuse, we stayed three days. From there, we circled around and reached Figium. And after one day, the south wind blew, and the next day we came to Putilion. Putili, something like that. Some crazy places like this, where we found brethren and were invited to stay with them seven days. So we went towards Rome. And from there, when the brethren heard about us, they came to meet us as far as Appeal Forum and Three Inns. 
when Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage. So the, the brethren come and encouraged Paul. Now, when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captains of the guard. But Paul was permitted to dwell by himself with the soldier who guarded him. Paul is being treated specially. Why won't you treat him specially? Knowing the things that happened. Verse 17, and it came to pass after three days that Paul called the leaders of the Jews together. So when they had come together, he said to them, Men and brethren, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem unto the lands of Romans, of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, wanted me, wanted to let me go because there was no cause of putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, not that I had anything of which to accuse my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have called for you to see you and speak with you, because for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. They, then they said to him, We neither received letters from Judea concerning you, nor have any of the brethren who came reported or spoke any evil of you. But we desire to hear from you what you think. For concerning the sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. So when they had appointed him a day, many came to him at his lodging, to whom he explained and solemnly testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus. Persuading them concerning Jesus. Um both from the law of Moses and the prophets and from morning till evening. Did you see that? Did you see that? He was persuading them about Jesus from the law of Moses. So Paul used the Old Testament to show them Jesus because the Old Testament is the, root, is the New Testament concealed. The New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. Yeah. And some were persuaded by the things which were spoken and some disbelieved. So it's okay to preach. Some people will get it. Some people will not believe. You see that? You see that? So it's okay. So don't be, don't, don't take it personally. Some of them were persuaded. Some did not. And some were persuaded of things were spoken and some disbelieved. But Paul was consistent. But when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul had said one word. The Holy Ghost spoke rightly through Isaiah the prophet. To our father saying, go to these people and say, hearing you will hear and shall not understand. And seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of the people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing and their eyes they, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that it sh I should heal them. Therefore... I let it be known to you that salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed, had a great dispute amongst themselves. Then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all who came to him. Paul dwelt in his place, received all who came to him, obviously was out of prison now, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus with all confidence, no one forbidding him. Watch this. So Paul was free to preach and teach. Now, what, what is the kingdom of God that Paul was teaching? Let's, let's examine this, our last verse today. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching, which is teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ. The and there in the original rendition is Kai. Preaching the kingdom of God. What is this preaching of the kingdom of God? That is teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence. No one forbidding him. That is how to teach the kingdom. So there are people who say, no, we don't teach gospel, we teach kingdom. That kingdom is the things concerning Jesus Christ. Any teaching of the kingdom that is not, not the, the death, his burial and resurrection, is another thing, is another gospel. The teaching of the kingdom and the things that concern Jesus Christ. Because the people who say, no, we don't do gospel, we do kingdom. Kingdom. What is the kingdom? Kingdom is teaching the things concerning Jesus Christ. 
teaching the things concerning Jesus Christ, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Glory to God. Father, thank you for everyone who watched this morning. We decree great grace is released to everyone, supernatural enablement to birth their purpose. Today is activated from the spirit that dwells within them, which is the spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, give new songs, new sound, new projects, new new ideas, possibilities in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, because it is done in Jesus' much less name. Amen. Happy birthday, bis, 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 my sister. Oh, baby girl, happy birthday to you. May God crown this year with great success. May your heavens remain open in the name of Jesus. May angels begin to traffic, ascending and descending, dismantling all the apparatus of the enemies and establishing the plan of God concerning your life in the name of Jesus. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow. Please, please, you are blessed. Have a flourishing year ahead of you. You are blessed and you are graced to do what God has called you to do. Open up the heavens over your life and remain open in the name of Jesus. We decree divine alignment with the right people, the right persons, the right assistance and a disconnection from the old order into the new systems of God in Christ. We decree it is done in Jesus' matchless name. And everybody said, Amen, Amen and Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I will be with you uh, tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow evening I will be in church. To Thursday morning I will be here. Thursday evening I'm on the mainland. I rushed to the office today. I'm doing counseling from 11 a.m. this morning and i have to leave for six because i have a meeting for seven glory to god i love you all god loves you more than the devil hates you have a flourishing day ahead of you with great grace blessings